What is happening, YouTube? This is Daily G, episode number 11. And today we're talking about Ken Tamplin, Axe to Grind. And I just wanted to do something because I'm going to tell you something. Nothing is better than just dropping the needle and letting you hear this. We just got these in. These are amazing. The record looks stunning. I'll take it off and I'll show it to you um, in a minute. Also comes with this really, really amazing insert. And Jonathan Swank, Doc, did such an amazing write-up on this thing. And so anyway, it's got all the lyrics for side A, all the lyrics for side B. It's got all the players, which we'll go through in a minute because I'm going to tell you something. It's stunning. Um, how many players are on this and the quality of players so if you're cool with it I'm just gonna drop the needle because I just want you guys to hear it so I'm gonna sit down in my chair I'm gonna drop this needle and we're just gonna go ready <laughs> Listen to this. hear how smooth that is man Ken has got this vocal tone that's powerful but it's also beautiful it's got this clarity this which obviously I mean he's got this like vocal Academy online teaches people how to sing he knows how to control his voice more than anybody um, and by the way if any of you don't know this Ken Tamplin is the cousin to Sammy Hagar from Van Halen who also has just got tremendous pipes so sometimes you're just born with a gift now that's not to take anything away because this guy has honed his craft like very very few you know when shout dropped the band shout um, dropped their it won't be long vinyl um, it took the world by storm, man. That's Ken Tamplin and Chuck King on the front. Chuck King used to play guitar for Idol Cure for a little bit of background in history. And uh, he went on, you know, Ken went on after doing a couple shout albums, went on to do um, this Tamplin project, this Axe to Grind, 
It's actually Tamplin and Friends. So let me just kind of go through who's on this album so that you know. Scott Van Zen, Chuck Wright, Lanny Cordola. Many of you might know him from House of Lords. Mark St. John. Anybody of you know that name? Come on, you guys know that name. Mark St. John, he was with Kiss. Joey Tafoya, Ken Mary, and obviously Ken Tamplin. So um, Scott Van Zen did a bunch of stuff with Fox and ESPN. Lanny Cordola was obviously, he did the Magdalene Project with uh, Ken Tamplin. Um, he also was in House of Lords. Ken, Ken Mary was in Impelitary, um, also House of Lords. Chuck Wright was with Quiet Riot. And Joey Tafoya with Wiz, with Zag and Panzer and Mark St. John with, with Kiss and White Tiger. So this dude has got the guitarist on this album. So there's all these, like, um, you'll notice there's all these songs, like Music Box is 58 seconds, and Bore in E minor is 45 seconds, and the continuing saga of Screw Tape and Wor Wormwood if I can get that out, is 30 seconds. On and on and on it goes. Armageddon is a minute and three seconds. So these are all songs that are just like guitars. If you're a guitar fanatic, you love hammer-ons, pull-offs, rips. You love that 80s classic flying guitar. This is the album for you. This thing is just loaded. We were stunned that we were actually able to get the entire album on vinyl. And if you don't understand, if you don't know, vinyl, you're only supposed to do, you know, 20, 25 minutes a side. So whenever we do more than 20, 25 minutes, we get test pressings. And so we have over here, I believe it's these guys. Yeah, you can see right there. See how it says Ken Tamplin test pressing right there. All the way over there on the right, it says artist X to grind, or title X to grind, artist Ken Tampa. So it's an entire test pressing. They send us a bunch of these guys, right? So that we can listen to them and make sure that the quality turns out correct. And so it takes a lot longer to get vinyl this way, but it's worth it, especially when you're putting a lot of music on. Um, so in order to fit all this music on a vinyl record, those V grooves that they make in vinyl, they have to squeeze them up a little bit to kind of tighten up the music. So it's a little bit quieter. It's not as loud as some of the other stuff where there's only like 18 minutes, um, you know, aside like a Saint Project or something like that, where there's like 16, 18 minutes aside, the songs are short. Um, but that's what your volume number, volume knob is for. You know, this guy right here. See, it says master volume. That means you can turn it up. You can turn it to 11. All right, so, quit. so here's what I'm getting at. This album is just so, just, I mean, dude, here, I'm just going to play something else for you. Let me just do this, right? I'm just going to drop the needle on the first song here. That's the first song on the album called Living For My Lord. All right, so let me show you the vinyl itself because we were like, what? This thing is so great. So I'm doing this one hand. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna set my phone down because I don't want to screw this up. So give me one second here. Get this little tripod working so I can pull this record off and show you. Man, ain't that a thing of beauty right there. Look at that. Mm. So it's a translucent blue, so you can kind of see through it. It's got black and white splatter in it. And I don't know if you can tell, but you see the lines? So the lines actually show, let me see if I can angle this thing correctly for the camera. The lines show where the songs, there we go. Like you see right in here, see those lines? So there's a couple in there 
where there's very, very little distance between it. Those are those short songs, you know, so like one like was right here. Actually, I'm going to turn it this way. Ooh, see, you can kind of see it right there. Those really short songs. Those are those 50-second, like, guitar clips, right, that are just, like, so stunning. So let me drop this thing back on. But I just wanted to show you how the beautiful this thing turned out. So speaking of you, beautiful, can I show you one other? Hold on. So the Shout It Won't Be Long vinyl, let me just show you this bad boy. And I think I might have showed it in one of the previous videos, but I just wanted you to see how cool this thing turned out. Look at that. See that? It's got some burgundy. Got bur I got all these like fluorescent lights that don't really help. They don't show it, but it's got yellow and burgundy in it. It's a translucent orange, as you can kind of see my thumb behind here. I'm not even touching the record. I'm just moving my thumb behind it, right? So, Shout has an amazing picture of these guys. An alternate picture that we found. It's got all the lyrics, a big write-up. There's the back of it. And then, once again, the Ken Tamplin one. So here's the front, here's the back. And then just show you, there is um, all the players. It shows them all down here and what they all play and what bands they're in and the whole write-up on the back. So I don't often show you just like everything that's in these records. I want it to be a little bit more like Christmas and you'd be surprised, but I couldn't help it, man, because this thing just, it just turned out so great. But the sound quality on this thing, his vocals, it's just like one song after another. It's just pounds its way through the record. There's a really cool like chill song on here. Let's see if I can, let's see if this one's it. I'm not sure if it is or not. No, that's the one I just played. That's not chill. Listen and check this out. Ooh. Listen, listen, listen. When people talk about how CDs sound better than vinyl, like, I'm just shaking my head going, what are you talking about? Because when you listen to this, like, through some good speakers, like, these aren't, like, high-quality speakers. They're, they're infinities, right? They're, they're not, man, bro, let me tell you something. This thing sounds incredible. There's no CD that sounds like this. This has just got that depthness. Here, let me see. Am I getting any good at this, doing this backwards? Here, let's find out. You like guitarist, man? This is your album. This is your album. Watch, listen. He's doing a guitar sweep. So, one of the things that we also did is we made sure with that sheet, um, the insert, that we tell you what guitarist plays on what song so that you can go look up that guitarist and follow some of their other work. Here, listen. Do you like blues like I do? My goodness. Check this bluesy part at the end. Check this out. Precious Lord Jesus, you've been so good to me. I thank you, Lord. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Your love never fails. I can't wait for that moment where I'll be going on home. It's 
got some soul and some blues. People all the time are like, do you really like this music as much as we do? Or is this just a business for you? not over it's got all these little guitar pieces this is actually the end of the record that's a good place just to cut this video off man there's nothing better than listening to this album it's powerful the lyrics are strong the vocals are strong and those guitars i mean uh, can you see chills can you see that that like those are like authentic like those are real like chills on my arm when i'm like those guitars and people are like do you really like this music as much as we do <laughs> oh man this is why i do it i wanted this thing on vinyl so guilty pleasure i guess anyway you can have your copy too there was only 200 made so you might want to get in on this just saying i'll put the links below um if you like this video subscribe if you've got ideas or suggestions you want me to do a reaction video to some music i mean let me know i'll go buy the, buy the vinyl i'll stick it on i'll do a reaction video man and i'll hear it for the first time i don't care what style it is it doesn't matter to me if it's hip-hop if it's country if it's rock if it's alternative like i'll do it man i love this stuff so I just love music. So let me know if you like this. Give me any comments, suggestions below. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned. This is Daily G, episode 11, signing off. We'll see you in the next episode.